Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer, another one that Matt sent me. This is the Bourbon Barrel Scotch Ale from Central Waters Brewing Company. And uh, they're out of Amherst, Wisconsin. Uh, this is a Bourbon Barrel and on the side here it's got very similar to what Sam Adams does. It's got a bunch of years and it's got a notch right here on the 2013. So this is the 2013 edition of this. And that is all the uh, information that I see on the label. And it does have uh, a code here on the bottle on that neck here that says 19013. So if I was to guess, I would say that was probably done on the 190th day of 2013. But that is just a guess. I went to Central Waters Brew site because Beer Advocate and Rate Beer has no ABV lesson for this and believe it or not, neither does Central Waters. So they don't want you to know how much alcohol is in this beer, which is not a good thing. Now, if you're drinking at home like I am, it's, it's, uh, it's not a bad thing, but if you're out in a bar and you don't know what the ABV is on this or if you can't taste the alcohol, and you're drinking at 11 percenter and you have four or five six of these wow you're in trouble so uh, they need to have that on there they need to be available somewhere I don't know why they're keeping the ABV secret uh, that's a bunch of horse hockey as far as I'm concerned uh, step up to the plate grow a set of gonads and put your ABV somewhere so we know how much alcohol I mean I'm not a big fan of not having the information that I need to know about the beer ABV, bottling date, IBUs, I mean all that's information as a beer drinking community need to have. I mean you need to know that to know how many you can have and, and be able to drive home from your drinking establishment if you have one other than your home, which I'm glad I drink most of mine here. So, But I do venture out occasionally to have a couple and I need to know, you know how much the ABV on that beer is. I don't want to drink three or four of an 11 percenter. Especially it's a well-made beer, and you can't tell by you know uh, <laughs> by how many, by drinking it, what the, whether you're tasting the alcohol or not. So if it's a four and a half percenter, you know it's not a big deal. But if it's an eleven percenter, it is a big deal. So I don't know why they're keeping it a secret. So thumbs down to Central for not putting your ABV out. So no, nobody knows what it is. You don't even list it on your website. So like I said, that's horse hockey. Let's get on with this one. Uh, they're out, like I said, of Amherst, Wisconsin. There is not even an IBU listed here. The commercial description, this rich multi, multi ale has been aged to perfection in our brow house. Subtle and smooth, this is a decadent display of patience and process. Join us in a toast to good health. But we're not telling you what the ABV is. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, Scotch Ale, Wee Heavy, uh, but telling you it's Wee Heavy, it's probably a bigger beer. If, if I was a guess, it's between a 7 and a 10 percent, but that's just a guess. I've never had this beer. I cannot get these beers. So Matt, thanks again for sending this to me. Tell them, tell them boys to put a damn ABV on the bottle or, or on their website anyway, so you can at least go look it up. They don't even have it on their website what, what the ABV of this beer is. Must be a big damn secret. What do you think? Uh, there is no commercial description. Oh, yes, it's cherry wood smoked scotch ale aged and used 12 year old bourbon barrels. So they like to tout that we aged it in bourbon barrel stuff, but they don't want you to know what the ABV is. And I got a problem with that. I guess you can tell that by how much I'm harping on that. Let's go over to the uh, food pairings and see what the food pairings is for this beer, guys. It says here food pairings for this beer. Cheese of the buttery brie gouda Havarti and Swiss. The meat is smoked meat and salmon. Glassware is pint. Becker, the nonic, the tumbler, the snifter, the tulip. 
But right off the bat, when you see the snifter listed as part of the glassware, that usually tells me that it's at least a 7 percenter. And uh, I'm not going to get the, the, the snifter out. I'm going to use a pint glass for this one just to show them. I need to have that ABV on there, guys, so we'll know what glass to use. Uh, the beer can be set up for long periods under the proper condition. There's another clue to telling you this is at least a 7 percenter because you can cellar this beer. Usually if it's less than 7 percent, it'll say not to cellar it. So we've got two clues telling us there that it's a bigger beer than a 7 percent. So that's all I can gather other than tasting it. So without further ado, let's uh, get the cap off of this one and let's see what it's about. Thanks again, Matt, for sending this beer. Not a big hiss. That tells me it's another either undercarbonated or a big beer. Let's get out in the centers. Hardly any head. Another clue. Got to be Sherlock Holmes sometimes to figure out what you're drinking. That's a shame, ain't it? All right, guys. Good looking beer in the glass, super aggressive pour down the middle. Got about a quarter finger of head on there. Over into the light. It is a dark, dark color, but I am seeing some red ruby tinges around the outside of the bottom of the glass. Now as you get up toward the, the, the middle of the top of the glass, I'm not getting a whole lot of light around the outside. So this is a very dark beer. It almost looks like a porter in the glass. Very dark beer. A lot of bubbles streaming up from the bottom of it, but it doesn't look like it's overly carbonated. Let's get a nose on it. Oh yeah, this this is a big beer. Heavy bourbon smell. Of course, anyway, you can put a 4%er in a bourbon barrel and it'll smell like it's a big beer because it's aged in the bourbon barrels. I'm getting bourbon, vanilla, coconut. Some dark fruit in there too. Dates, figs, raisins. The bourbon is the biggest thing. This is a, like I said, aged in 12 year old bourbon barrels. So Heavy bourbon presence in this. Very nice smell on this and I have to give them that. Even though I'm hacking on them for the ABV, this is a wonderful smelling beer. If anybody knows what the ABV is, post it in the comments. Uh, let me know, because like I said, I've uh, been to three different websites and can't find anything on the ABV. Even their own website, it doesn't have it listed. Smells wonderful. Let's give it a hit. Cheers, everybody. Thanks again, Matt. Cheers, buddy. Very nice. Vanilla, coconut, bourbon, raisins, figs, caramel, toffee. Very complex beer. Got a lot of things going on in this beer. If I was to make a guess after tasting it, I would say between 7 and 9%. Very delicious. Wow. Very, very tasty, guys. Wish I had more of it. <laughs> this is a tasty beer. I bet it's a little pricey, too. Matt, give me some comments back and let me know what a, a bottle of this costs. I don't know if you bought a bottle by itself or you bought a six-pack or four-pack of it, however it's produced. And let me know what a, what, a, what a one bottle of this would cost. Uh, I bet it's kind of expensive. Especially for something that's aged. Usually if you get something that's aged in a bourbon barrel, it's a little pricey. Wow. Very delicious, guys. 40 degrees right out of the fridge. Let's let it warm up. I know it's going to get a little bit better. We'll come back and do the final chug. I know she wants to taste some of this. I'll be right back. Alright, guys. I'm back. Got just a little bit left in this glass. Very tasty. Almost to the awesome state. Let's do the final chug on this one. Wow. 
very delicious. Bourbon, vanilla, coconut, toffee, caramel, some dark fruit. Very tasty, guys. It's uh, definitely a beer worth picking up if you can get this beer. I enjoyed it thoroughly. The only plus I got, yep, yeah, that's right. ABV, we don't know. We don't know what the ABV is on the beer. It's uh, not knowing, like I said, I would guess between 7 and 9%. If anybody does know, give me some comments back on this one. Let me know if you found out what the ABV is on this one. Guys, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I'm, I'm on the fence between the 8 and the 9 on this one. Uh, I want to give it the 9, but it doesn't have the ABV. So I'm going to probably step back and give it the 8, which is A-. minus. I definitely think it's an A beer, but we need that ABV information. If, if not on the bottle, at least where we can find out what it is and I've been to three different websites like I told you and uh, even their own website doesn't list the ABV on this one so I don't know why that's such a big secret so I'm gonna give it to eight tonight and let's go see what everybody else has to say Beer Advocate says it's 92 which is outstanding I would not argue with that one bit and over to Rate Beer Rate Beer says 99 overall and 99 in the style it is an awesome beer, but I think those numbers are a little inflated, not having the ABV listed anywhere at all. So, with that being said, we kind of need that information. So, if you, if you know what it is, give me some comments back on this one. I liked it pretty well, and if it had that ABV, I'd probably go ahead and give it the 9. Not quite a 10 beer, but definitely worth picking up and trying if you like this style in the bourbon barrel. I like most beers that are bourbon barrel aged in the... This fits into that category, so with that being said, hit that like button, rate, comment, subscribe, and let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. See you.